Hi guys, it's Lori. How you doing? So it's January. We're already at the 17th of January and I know a lot of people do resolutions in January. You know, you can change your life at any point. You don't have to wait for the calendar to change. You don't have to wait for a new year. You don't have to wait for a new month. It's just sometimes that helps people. We're all about, we're designed ritualistically. Um, if we can do things repetitively, uh, we, you can, you can form a habit in uh, seven days you can drop a habit I think it's 14 days uh, I'm not sure about that don't quote me on that but um, anything ritualistic we tend to believe it more um, that's why a lot of people that do magic do like candle magic and that kind of stuff because it makes you believe it more there really is a law of attraction there really is when Jesus said the faith of a mustard seed, there's power in faith. There's power in God. There is a law of attraction, but the problem with the way the law of attraction is taught is God is left out of it, really. Um, but there is, there, there is a way to manifest you, the life that you desire and what we need to do is we need to clear out all the gook see what happens is everything that's going to manifest physically whether it be illness whether it be um events tragedies that go on in this world um whether it be you know finances going bad or good or whatever whatever is going to happen relationships breaking or relationships coming whatever's going to come at us in this world comes spiritually first so it comes in the in the etheric field comes in goes in our our energy field our aura and then either stays or goes or gets trapped in there and then we also have soul wounds um and soul wounds are such deep hurts and they can be from in utero they can be from when we were infants they could be something we don't even remember uh, it could be a word spoken whatever it is but it's such a deep hurt that it hurts you spiritually it hurts you at a soul level so you can go through years and years and years of therapy and be able to talk about something detach from it help other people with it and still carry the soul wound so what happens when you carry the soul wound is you actually will find yourself in, in the same kind of situations over and over and over, and it's due to that soul wound. So what we need to do periodically is cleanse out that auric field, get rid of all the gook, because you might think you're fearless, but all of a sudden you've got anxiety, or you're so rigid that you can't go outside of your schedule at all. But you don't see that as a fear or as a soul wound. Um, in relationship, you may be the runner. In relationship, you may be the clingy one. Either one is no good. You're not going to find true, healthy relationships. You may be staying with a job for the paycheck. Or you may be staying with a job that you like, but you'd rather be retired. Or you'd rather be doing something else, but you know that you need that security. You see what I'm saying? Like... And don't get me wrong, we live in a fallen world and negative things happen. So I'm not one of those people. And it actually bothers me very much, this philosophy. Part of the New Age philosophy is basically whatever you're going through is either your karma or a lesson or whatever. And what it does is it gives people the excuse not to help you because then they'd be interfering with your karma or your lesson and therefore actually harming you. That's a bunch of crap as far as I'm concerned. Um, because negative things do happen and sometimes it's not your fault. Sometimes it's not your soul wound. Sometimes it's not your lesson. Sometimes it's not your karma. Sometimes it just happens. So, um, anyhow, we got to, you know, clean, clean out whatever's in there. It could be fear. It could be doubt. It could be insecurity. It could be unworthiness. So, um, you need to periodically go in there and cleanse everything out you don't need some big ritual or anything like that um, but you do need to cleanse it out and even if you feel great it, it could still be there because like I said a lot of these things 
we see the end result from. We don't necessarily feel the symptoms. You know, like say you're a writer and you've got tremendous writer's, writer's block. It could be because of something stuck in your auric field. Um, if you're in relationship and it just doesn't, you know, you just can't seem to get it right. Or maybe you want to be in a relationship and you haven't found somebody. And people have told you you seem unapproachable or you seem, um, you know, taken or whatever. Or maybe you can't connect with your kids or, me, you know, whatever the case may be. We need to cleanse our our org field. I can help you with that. I can show you how to do it. Call, make an appointment. Um, one thing though, I just want to tell you real quick, there's a couple little things that you can do um, as far as like if you want to get more work in, just really quick. Beginning of the year, I always get one of these new one. I know it sounds simple and foolish and a lot of people use their online calendar. I also use my online calendar, but I always write it down too. You know why? Because there is power in writing it down. Also speaking it out. A lot of people will use like their own, um, like dictaphone or, um, dictaphone wall. That shows my age, right? Um, or recording, they'll, they'll talk into it or whatever. Um, another thing you can do is take that calendar whatever it is and it's really hard to do it online that's why i think you know paper i i'm old school too though i do my books in on paper too first before i put anything online but um writing things down really does have some power to it and another thing i do is say i need some work whatever it may be i'll open up my calendar um and then i I do some energy over it. I say a prayer over it. I ask God to fill that calendar up. And then you got to believe it. And before you know it, your calendar is going to be full. Um, you don't want to be unorganized, as organized as possible, especially when it comes to business. Um, another thing, simple little thing, you know, say you want to save up for a vacation and you never can seem to do it. Um, one good thing that some people do is, you know, do you have your change jar? Well, have a jar that says vacation and just throw some money in there every time you empty out your pockets or whatever. Or have a jar that says electric bill, whatever it is, you know. Um, I know that that sounds really simple, but if you're really unorganized or scattered, those kinds of things can help. Um, another thing is when you get up in the morning, um, if you tend to be flighty and scattered, just take a minute, breathe in, deep breath, and hold it on for the count of four. And then breathe out and hold that. Do that three or four times and just picture yourself like um, with like a cord going into the ground, just kind of grounding you. And then picture God, you know, reach up to God and picture him grabbing your hand or an angel or however you can picture it or the white light. So now you're connected to God and do the, four, the breaths too and you're connected to the earth. So you're grounded, but yet you still, you always want to trust God first. Don't start the day without a prayer, you know? But if you want to clean out your auric field, give me a, a ring or sign up for one of the workshops. It's really, it's very, very, very important. You know the stuff, all the stuff that I talk about is really simple stuff. And sometimes you go, oh, geez, that sounds like common sense. It's really simple, but it's real, real important. And remember, the most important thing is your eternal life. You know, you can have all the money in the world. You could have um, every material thing ever. But in eternity, you're not taking any of that with you. What is, What does matter is the relationships that you make, the impression that you make on other people, and that you're going to carry into the next life with you. That you're going to carry over with you. So that's what's important. Put that first. Put God first, and you can't go wrong. All right, guys, I'll talk to you soon. Have a good day.